confident he's not he's not going anywhere. Who? Terrence. We have a contract with him that lasts for another year. If he came to us and wanted out of the contract and we made a financial arrangement, we'd probably agree. But who's going to pay him what we're paying? You understand? It's all business. Top rate boxing king Bob Arum doubles down on his comments about Terrence Crawford. But Arum goes a step further. He says he's not interested in promoting Terrence Crawford's fights anymore. What pissed off Bob Arum about this whole situation is that Terrence Crawford got lawyers, but that was cool. He didn't care about the lawyers. What he cared about is them releasing the letter to the press. He thinks the situation should have been handled behind closed doors, like men do. Aaron feels that Terrence Crawford disrespect him because he feels Terrence Crawford didn't come at him like a man. And then he doubled down to say, I'm not going to take any crap from Crawford. The truth is, I lost a lot of money off this guy. A couple of more things put a strain on this relationship. One of them is not making the big fights. We're going through a pandemic right now, so the revenue streams are very rare. We don't have too many of them. And Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence will not take pay cuts. And Manny Pacquiao, at this point in his career, is all about his money. And Bob Aaron explains in a little clip that Terrence Crawford could have had those fights against Thurman, Porter, or Ukas, but he did not want to take a pay cut. You got big superstars like Canelo, Anthony Joshua, Tiafimo, Lomachenko. All these guys had to reduce their pay to make the big fights happen or to make fights happen, period. Terrence Crawford is reluctant to do that. And that's fine. Get all your paper. I'm not mad at you. Just when you do that in this type of climate, it's harder to make those fights with the Porters, the Thurmans, the Ugas. We are not willing to take a pay cut. And it sounds like Aram is pretty much done with Terrence Crawford and vice versa. So it sounds like both parties' best interest is to dissolve this relationship sooner than later. Canelo is the best. I'm no, ready. Yeah. I don't need no more time. No nothing. So fuck what you heard. Fuck what they're talking about. You about to face a real Mexican boxer. He gonna face a real bad motherfucker. That's who he's gonna face. Caleb Sweet Hands Plant says he's looking forward to fighting Canelo in December. But the deal didn't work out. And everybody on YT had their own theories. Some people say Caleb Plant ducked Canelo. And some people, most of the haters, think Canelo ducked Caleb Plant. Yet, Canelo set the date for the fight, and he's still fighting on December 19th. The PBC has Errol Spence fight on December 5th. They're too busy promoting that. And then you will have the Canelo Plant fight on December 19th. Plant is saying they did not have enough time. PBC felt they'd have enough time to promote the Canelo Plant fight. And it kind of makes sense. I mean, if Canelo beats Colin Smith, like most of us think he's gonna do, then he could fight Caleb Plant on single to mile, which will be a huge fight. And it will be a unification match and the pay-per-view numbers will be bigger and we should have a vaccine by December. So you think about single to mile, you might be able to even have a live crowd. And that's why the PVC told Canelo, we would love to revisit your offer in 2021. So it looks like it's shaping up a Canelo versus Caleb Plant on single to mile if it gets past Colin Smith. Am I convinced Caleb Plant could beat Canelo? No, I'm not convinced. I'm still leaning towards Canelo. Hopefully on Cinco de Mayo we'll find out if he doesn't fight Triple G. You know, boxing is screwy sometimes like that. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone. Uh, Sean, they don't want to fight. He doesn't want to fight Sean Porter. Porter doesn't want to fight. But Porter was available. Uh, what's his name? Thurman is available. A lot of guys available. I mean, this uh, what's the name? Ugas is available. A lot of a lot of welterweights are available uh, that he can fight.